In this morning's video, we're gonna be making some inexpensive fermentation tops that you can use on gallon jars and you can use on any mason jars. What you'll need for the inexpensive DIY fermentation top is you'll need plastic tops for your glass jars, you're gonna need rubber grommets and an airlock. Good morning, modern setters. We've been fermenting and making apple cider vinegar. Let me show you. We have three one gallon glass jars filled with apple cider grindings and sugar water fermenting to make apple cider vinegar. You can keep them covered with a cheesecloth or fabric like we're doing, but they, they attract fruit flies. We were researching it and you can do fermenting tops like mason tops and all those different things. For wide mouse or one gallon jars, they're pretty expensive. So we've come up with make your own inexpensive fermenting tops for these bigger glass jars or any mason top. So let's go build one. What are you two doing? We're gonna need our three plastic caps. You'll need a half inch or 916 strobe bit. You'll need your plastic lids. If you don't have plastic lids, you can buy plastic lids on Amazon or your grocery store or most any hardware store fairly inexpensively. I'm gonna take out the ceiling ring for now. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna have it sitting up like this with the dimple. That way I can use the dimple to stop my drill bit. Now when you're drilling, you don't want to put a lot of down pressure on. If you do, you got to end up cracking your cap. So just slightly with the weight of the drill, without pushing, drill your hole. We're gonna clean up the edges of our hole with a razor blade. Then we can insert our grommet. Just gotta work it in a little bit. Now it's in place with the half inch hole drilled. We got our airlock chamber. And it fits nicely in there. Now I thought dogs and cats weren't supposed to be best friends. What's going on here, guys? Nothing? You have nothing to say for yourselves? <laughs> We're gonna take off our fabric. We have it weighted down with a jar filled with water. I'm gonna take the lid we just made with the fermenting hole, put it on, install our three-piece airlock, take off the cover. We're gonna put water in it up to the fill line. And what this allows is it allows air to come up and breathe, and you'll see bubbles working through here, but it won't let air back inside. You won't just have the off-gassing coming through the cloth, so you won't be attracting all the fruit flies that we were before. So this will let it naturally ferment and keep everything clean, sterile, and the bugs away. And it's inexpensive. We got enough to do, we got 16 grommets, six three-piece airlocks, what else did we get? Oh, and we got some glass weights. I'll put links in the description down below for affiliate Amazon links that we have. We're able to make six of these for less than the price of what one would have cost us. Now for the heck of it, let's experiment with this one. In this container, we're using a Pyrex glass bowl for a weight. Let's use, in this one, Let's use a glass weight that they sell for fermenting. We'll put that right inside the jar. Let's install our lid. Install our airlock. Let 
I'm going to put some water into the airlock right up to the fill line. Put the cover back on. So now we have an inexpensive way to start fermenting. We want to get more and more into fermenting vegetables, but it's very expensive if you want to buy Mason Tarps or all the other brands out there for, for fermenting in jars. It gets pretty expensive, especially if you just want to try it. We're using one gallon glass jars that we have. This is what we store our chicken broth in, kombucha in. We use these for all different things. Now we're making apple cider vinegar in them. We got the, um, we got the three piece airlocks on here. We could use these on regular mason jars, which we'll be doing too later on. This is a great inexpensive way to get started into fermentation. I'm excited. If you watch the channel, you modern steaders know, I love experimenting. So we have three glass jars. We can't leave them all the same way. So we're gonna have two with the three piece airlocks and the homemade fermentation tops. And we're gonna leave one covered with the organic fabric. And we'll see which one does better. If this one doesn't turn out great, we can give it to the pigs or the chickens. If it turns out, we'll save it. And we can just compare up the three together. Which way works better? I'm excited about doing that and we can find out. This is our first time making cider vinegar. So it's fun to experiment and find out which way is going to work the best for us. Once we're all done with the apple cider vinegar, I'm looking forward to making sauerkraut and fermented pickles. This is going to be so much fun and one more thing to look forward to here at Lumna Acres. So if you're not already subscribed, now's the perfect time to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. While you're down there, turn on the little, hit the little bell icon and that'll turn on notifications and let you know every time we go live and send out new videos. Oh, and speaking of new videos, we started uploading our videos at 6 a.m. Eastern time this week. Leave it in the comments down below of what you think of that. So we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.